Hello and welcome again to Dudley Zoo and Castle. Are you with me, Chris, the Conservation Officer? We're going to be talking about our sloths. Now, our sloths are called Reggie, who is five years old, and Flo, who is just turned two. And they are Linny's two-toed sloth. Now, two-toed sloths are actually nocturnal, which means they're a lot more active during the night. In fact, these guys will sleep up to 20 hours a day. Now, sloths are part of a family called Xenephora, which means they're in the same family as armadillos and anteaters. Now, the characteristics of a Xenephora is that they have really strong hips and a lower back because of the way their vertebrae or their backbone is made up. That means that our sloth can actually hang horizontal just off the weight of their back legs to reach out for another branch in front of them which means they're perfectly adapted for life in the canopy. Now, Xenephra, another characteristic, is their wrists. These sloths have got an adaption with their wrists, which means they can move them in lots of different ways, almost as if they're double jointed, which means they can reach for different branches nice and easy. Now, all Xenephra are only found in South America. Now, some more interesting stuff about our sloths. Their metabolism is really, really slow, which basically means that they digest food at a really slow rate, which means that they get energy really slow. And that is one of the reasons that they actually move so slow. In fact, when they're on the ground, they can only cover around two meters per minute. But when they're in the trees, they're a little bit faster and can actually move three meters per minute. Because they're slow, so slow, it does mean that they are a little bit at risk from predators. In fact, jaguars, caiman, other large predators that live on the land will happily take these. In fact, even when they're up in the canopy, they're not safe. They live in the same place as the largest bird of prey in the world, the harpy eagle. Thankfully, they do have some adaptions to help them. These sloths are really well camouflaged, but I will come on to that right at the end. Also, those large claws that they've got at the front and their large canine teeth are perfect defenders because they can be quite quick with their arms and their teeth when they want to, to defend themselves. Now, even though they've got these large teeth, they're actually completely herbivorous. That means that they eat leaves, they eat plants, and they also eat fruit. Now, here at the zoo, their favorite is the hibiscus plant. We specially grow this plant indoors where it's nice and warm and then feed it to our sloths. One of the weird things about the sloths though is they don't tend to drink a lot. In fact, they get most of their nutrients and most of their water from the food they eat. Another thing about these guys is they very rarely come to ground. Now, that it could be to cross a river or even to cross a road. And unfortunately, that's where these guys face the greatest danger. When sloths do come down out of the trees to try and cross these hazardous roads, they are susceptible to becoming roadkill. Now thankfully there are great conservation efforts out there, which are just basically making ropes and vines across these highways to help our sloths. Now as I said, I have got three fun facts for you. Number one, and my favourite fact, is the reason they most commonly come to ground. And they come to ground once a week usually, and that's to defecate. Basically, to have a poo. Now my second favourite fact is although they're slow moving, in the water these guys are quite quick. If they need to cross a river they can actually perform the breaststroke. Now my third favourite fact is about that camouflage I was telling you about. These guys move so slowly and their fur is so specially adapted that they actually grow algae on it. In the wet months these guys actually turn green which is a perfect camouflage for living in the trees. Now I really hope you've enjoyed the tour today and next week we'll be providing another tour on one of our top carnivores here at the zoo.